What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day number 103. I cannot believe it's 103. Um, okay, number 103. Let's kick it off. Um, I wanted to do something that's the OG of a category in, in Canada. Not just BC, in Canada. I do believe this was the very first ever um, absinthe available in Canada from Okanagan Spirits, one of the oldest distilleries here in the province. Um, really old school style. 50%, 60%, sorry. Um, they also do a gold, which if Tyler or Jeremy are listening or um, she distills listens, please bring back the gold. I want the gold back. The gold is awesome. I love the gold. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little taste straight, which is aggressive. Obviously, black licorice forward. Absinthe is very specific. Very black licorice. Ooh, very sweet black licorice going through to dry. Super complex in the back here with the with the other herbs. I know that they add, they say what well, there's blah 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 fennel, anise, essential ground wormwood. It's a native herb of the province here in BC. Mm. Green anise, star anise, hyssop, lemon balm, fennel, petite wormwood, and chlorophyll. Obviously chlorophyll for you. Now, the secret to a good absinthe though, really the taste, and you can taste it straight. I don't recommend to do that. Um, really the way you should do it is with a little bit of water. So we're looking for the luge. Oh, it's beautiful, like, like nice green color there. So, and look at that. It's magic. Um, usually like one to three. So one part absinthe, three parts water. Um, this one I rarely do through a sugar cube. So traditionally what you would do is you'd have your, your big water fountain and your ice water would drip very slowly through a sugar cube, don't like um, dissolve the sugar cube into the absinthe and then you just top it up to a mark. Most absinths I don't like with sugar. I like them straight with water. More classic like Perno uh, Pastis style from France where you just top up Perno Pastis with water. Or Rocky. With water, it just opens up and lengthens. I don't think you need a lot of sweetness in there. That sweet black licorice is just so nice and complex. Then you start breaking down, like you do get that lemon balm, you do get that fennel, you start getting that sort of aromatic, fragrant sort of flavors that are attached to the, the absinthe as well. I think for bang for your buck, I think for what we can get in BC, I think this is a fantastic absinthe to get to. Um, great in cocktails as well. If you're talking about Zazaracs and stuff, that has that really punchy, potent, sweet licorice. Sprit, put this in a spritzer bottle for your Zazarax. My suggestion for this little number, if you're not going to drink it with water, atomizer of Taboo, and then use the Prospect Rye from Odd Society for a Zazarac. Money. Little Peychaudes or the, um, oh, the um, Cherry Bitters from Bitted Sling is another great local variation on a Peychaud style. Um, I can't remember what they call it. It's a Cherry Bitters though. Um, so number 103. Okanagan, Okanagan, Okanagan Spirits to boo the OG absent for Canada, not just BC. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.